Hey everybody, ChromeFX Films here, and in this tutorial, I'll be covering how to make a sway effect. What I have right here is a basic test scene. I have my floor, I have my first person controller. This is just the one that Unity provides. Uh, it comes with the character motor script and the mouse look, just basic scripts that are included when you download Unity. Uh, you can just import them by going to Assets, Import Package, and then it's right there. It's the first one, Character Controller. Uh, under the main camera, I have a Sway object. Currently, there is no script on it, but this is the object we're going to be uh, adding our finished script to. This is the object that is going to be swaying. Uh, I made some quick changes to the main camera settings um, in the clipping planes. Uh, I changed the near distance to 0.01. Uh, this is the smallest amount that Unity can set. Uh, this basically just uh, allows me to make objects be very close to the camera without them actually, uh, without the camera clipping through them. Let me show you an example. By default, I believe it's 0.3 or something like that. But as you can see, the uh, object on the bottom screen, you can already start. It's like the camera is going inside of it, and it's not even that close to the camera. Um, I usually set it to point zero one when I start using um, cameras and that is because it is very helpful otherwise you will get uh, most of the time very glitchy uh, objects if you ever are making a first person shooter or anything that has an object that is very close to the camera uh, you always want to have it set to a very small amount unless uh, you have another reason Otherwise, uh, it's okay. <laughs> so, let's position this again back where I had it. Leave it right here. Make sure the settings are correct. Okay, and we're going to start by making a new JavaScript. I'm going to add it to this folder. I have already uh, organized the folders. And I'm going to call this Sway Script. We're going to open this up. Now, the way this script is going to work is we are going to have a maximum uh, X amount and a maximum Y amount. This is going to uh, decide how far the object moves up and down when you move the mouse and how far it moves left and right. Uh, we're going to create separate amounts so you can change the max amount for the uh, left and right and up and down different because the amount the object moves uh, up and down is usually less than the amount of moves x on uh, the x-axis but uh, we'll get to that when we add the variable so the first thing we're going to do is um, add the uh, variables for the amounts that, they, that the object will move so we'll call this first one um, x sway amount it's going to be float so we can work with that later and this is going to be a y Amount, same thing. Um, you know, I'm actually going to change this point two to point one because point zero two is actually very little, and this will be set to point zero five. Okay, and then we're going to set a max amount for the x and y. This is going to be, uh, let's say, all right. Now, what we're what I'm going to do is. Because the X sway amount is the amount uh, it moves when you're actually moving the mouse, but uh, that is everything be in between the max amount that you set. So the max amount is the furthest that it will move. If I set this to uh, 1 and this is moving 0.1, uh, it's going to be moving like off the screen, but very slowly depending on how fast you're moving your mouse. Um, this gives it a lot of variability and it's really helpful but you need to make sure that you don't set this amount too far away or uh, not too much greater than the uh, X sway amount or the Y sway amount. With that being said, I'm going to set this to point, uh, 0.35. Then I'm going to do the same thing with the Y and this is going to be uh, point Point two. I'll do point two. Okay. We're gonna make a private variable. 
this is going to be a vector 3. I'm doing vector 3 so we can set the uh, positioning. Okay, and in the start function, we're going to uh, assign the variable vector 3. And then we're going to send this as local position. Okay, and in update, first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a new variable. And this variable is going to detect the uh, movement of the mouse. And we're going to set this to, we can set this to negative input dot get axes axis actually it's going to be mouse x and then we're going to multiply this by the sway amount not the max sway amount just the sway amount so do this and then we're going to do the same thing for uh, the y Okay, very good. And now we're going to make a series of if statement if statements. Um, these are going to. This is basically where it's going to detect uh, if we've reached the max amount. Um, so if it hasn't reached the max amount, it will keep moving the object using the uh, x sway amount. Um, but if it reaches the max amount that's set, it will uh, stop and it will start slowing down the object and we will actually make it um, move slowly and smoothly by creating a smooth variable up here I'm going to call this smooth this is going to be float and then we're going to set this at 3 so let's make the uh, series of if statements so if the uh, so if the uh, x movement is greater than the max, uh, sorry, x amount that we have set. We're going to set the max amount so it won't move any further. Now I'm just going to quickly do these for the other ones. If this is less than the negative x, x amount. And then we're going to do the same thing for the y. Negative, same thing. Just doing this for the y. And then, this is it, last part. Okay, now we have set it so it detects if your movement has reached the max amount that you set. Now to make this actually start working, we need to create one more variable and uh, actually assign it. So we're going to down here, we're going to make a new one. And then we're just going to call this detection. And this is going to be vector 3. And then we're going to do x and we're going to add the uh, detection of the mouse and set the y same thing dot z okay so now we just set the x y and z axes This is where it's actually moving the object. This is uh, using lerp. Uh, we can actually um, assign the actual uh, amount that it moves. Okay, so it's going to use the variable that we just created above, uh, one line up, and then we're going to use uh, delta time to. Uh, detect or assign the speed that it's going to move and then we're going to multiply this by smooth so 
make this a little bit bigger. Okay, and that should be it. Let me save this, minimize this, and let's add the Sway script to the Sway object that I already have set as a child object under the camera. And I have an error. Let's see what the error is. Oh, I did not finish the line. Okay, and the error is gone. And here we go. The All the variable amounts showed up here. It's as you can see, it's what we set. So I'm going to play the scene down here. You should see if it works. And there you go. It's slowly moving. And as you can tell, the X amount is more than the Y amount. Let me actually make the screen bigger so you guys can see it better. OK, so that works. Now let me try raising the amount to show you guys what happens. So I'm going to set the Y amount to the same as the X, and then I'm going to make uh, the amount that actually moves a little bit more so you'll see a little bit more movement, a little bit more uh, obvious. And there you go. So it moves left to right. Alright, that is it guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you found it helpful. And if you have any tutorial suggestions, please feel free to ask. I'm always open to suggestions. So thank you guys and good luck with your games.